In Google Ads, you used to be able to find variations on keywords that you were targeting, some of which could have drastically different performance. These keywords are considered your close variants, keywords you weren't specifically targeting but would trigger your ads. Don't get me wrong, your ads are still going to show up for these keywords. The only difference is Google has recently decided to change the rules and not only hide the keywords that don't get you a click, but also the keywords that don't get enough search volume. Fortunately, SpyFu is in a unique position to give you back some of those keywords that Google has made invisible. With this method, you can expand your keyword ideas and then track your ad's performance on them automatically. Here's how to set it up. First, Let's go to spyfu.com and log into our account. From there, I'm going to open up the My SpyFu slider here on the right. From the Projects dropdown, I'm going to choose Create Project. I'll enter in a domain name, and for me, it is spyfu.com, and enter in a project name. Since I want to focus this project specifically on the keywords from my Google Ads, I'm going to name it something like SpyFu PPC Search Terms, and then click Create. We will look into the suggested groups in just a minute, but let's start by adding a group called Google Ads Search Terms, and then click Create Group. Here's the new group but it doesn't have any keywords yet. So let's head over to your Google Ads account and find your current search terms. I'm going to do this in a new tab because we're gonna be coming right back to MySpyFu right after we get our search terms. First, log into your Google Ads account. Go to the Keywords dropdown and click on Search Terms. You can pick and choose which keywords you would like to copy and paste into your project, but I'm just going to export them all by leaving them unchecked. Now it's time to click on the download button and choose which file format you'd like these to be exported as. Open up the file you just downloaded and copy the keywords in the left column. Now let's go back to that SpyFu tab and click on our new Google Ads search terms group. And then click on add keywords. In this big blank text field, I'm going to paste the keywords we just copied from our Google Ads export. And there we go. Our giant list of search terms are now ready to be imported. For simplicity's sake of this video, I'm going to uncheck the suggested groups and not add any labels yet. From there, I'm going to click on the big green Import Keywords button. It may take a few seconds, depending on how big your keyword list is, but eventually they will all be imported and then ready for you to check out. Since this is brand new data, it might take a couple minutes for the information to be loaded in, but rest assured, it will be visible soon. From here, you'll be able to track the imported keywords as an overall group, both on the organic and the paid side. Or you can drill into each keyword and keep an eye on metrics such as CPC, monthly searches, ranking difficulty, and the change of clicks and ranks. You can label them, move them around, or delete them from this group. Whatever works best for you. The metrics of these keywords will update on a weekly basis, so you can keep track of how your keywords and groups are performing. Now let's dive into some suggested keyword groups that SpyFu provides. I'm going back to the menu on the left and clicking Groups. This will show our Google Ads search terms group, as well as suggest other keyword groups for this domain. Before we dive into the suggested groups, I'm going to make one more custom group and call it Potential Google Ads Keywords. This will make sense in a minute. All right, great. Now let's see what SpyFu is suggesting so we can help fill in some of those gaps left by Google Ads. I personally enjoy adding the performance groups to every project because I'd like to see a nice roll-up of my top performing and most interesting keywords. But when you're wanting to fill the gaps of a PPC campaign, we recommend looking at the suggested keyword groups. They will give a roll-up based around specific groups of keywords. 
showing you both short and long tail keywords that you should consider adding to your PPC campaign. A big group that we focus on here at SpyFu is Keyword Tool. So I'm just going to add that entire group to this project. Then I'm going to click on that group and see what we got. You can simply look at all of these keywords and cherry pick which ones you think would be best for your Google Ads campaign. But if you're wanting to fine tune it a bit, our recommendation is to sort this list by monthly searches. Click on the monthly searches header until the most searched keywords are at the top. From there, take a look at the CPC or cost per click. If you find keywords with a relatively high amount of monthly searches, but a relatively low CPC, you may have your next winner. I'm going to check a few of these that look good and then click on the button that says groups. Right there, you'll see all the groups in this project, including that empty one that we named potential Google ads keywords. I'm going to click on that one to add these keywords to that group and then take a look at it by clicking on it on the left menu. And there are those highly searched, low cost per click keywords, given this is only a handful. But you can repeat this process as many times as you would like with those other suggested groups of keywords. If you run your company's Google Ads, try peppering in these keywords and see how they perform. If you're like me and don't run your ads account, you can always export these keywords and their metrics to a CSV or to Google Sheets and send it over to the person who is in control of your Google Ads. This is a fast and easy way to find affordable long and short tail keywords that you may have missed. And now that Google Ads is intentionally hiding these kinds of keywords from you, it is more important now than ever to discover these hidden gems on your own. We're just happy that SpyFu can be here to help. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to videos from SpyFu. Like and subscribe. SpyFu is on YouTube. YouTube.